Hello, welcome to our unique learning system news to you article of the day. My name is Charlotte Lucas. I am an autism low incidence mentor teacher with Richmond Public Schools, and I am so excited to bring you some breaking news. I came across a very interesting headline that read Hubble Telescope Pictures, and I want you to tell you about it. The article is very interesting. The title is Hubble Telescope Pictures. And I guess the first thing you would want to have answered is, what is a Hubble telescope? I have, to, I wanna to read to you this article that I found that I think is very interesting and it'll probably answer all of your questions. What is the Hubble te Space Telescope? The Hubble Space Telescope is a large telescope in space. NASA launched Hubble in 1990. Hubble is as long as a large school bus. It weighs as much as two adult elephants. Hubble travels around Earth at about five miles per second. That is as fast as driving a car from east coast of the United States to the west coast in 10 minutes. Hubble faces towards space. It takes pictures of planets, stars, and galaxies. Hubble has stars, Hubble has seen stars being born. Hubble has seen stars die. It has seen galaxies that are trillions of miles away. Hubble also has seen comet pieces crash into the gases above Jupiter. Scientists have learned a lot about space from Hubble pictures. The pictures are beautiful to look at also. All right, and what is it that would uh, make the Hubble's telescope different from the Hubble's the telescopes on space on Earth? The mixture of gases that surround a planet is called its atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere changes and blocks some of the light that comes from space. Hubble flies around or orbits high above Earth, Earth and its atmosphere. So Hubble can see space better than telescopes on Earth can. Hubble is not the kind of telescope that you look through with your eye. Hubble uses a digital, 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 I cannot say that word today, digital camera. It takes pictures like a cell phone. Then Hubble uses radio waves to send the pictures through the air back to Earth. All right, now that's very inter interesting. I wanted to show you a couple of pictures. This is a picture of the Hubble <clears throat> telescope in space. That's Earth right behind it. And this is one of the famous pictures that was taken by the telescope. That's called the Tadpole Galaxy. Now, I want to show you something that I found, a video that I found uh, that is so fascinating. This is a picture of the Hubble uh, telescope in space. This is what it looks like. Now, right behind it, you see Earth. Isn't that fabulous? This is the Hubble telescope. I think it's beautiful. You see all the changes that it's making, it's turning, it has parts that open and shut, and I'm sure that's because it's taking pictures, has to focus, uh, all kinds of things are happening. But that's what the Hubble uh, telescope looks like in space as it orbits Earth. Wow, that is something. Let's get back to the article. Now, the title of the article is Hubble Telescope Pictures. This is one of the pictures that it took. And it is beautiful. Let me see if I can get this to be a little bit bigger so that I can read it. <laughs> you have good eyes. Ms. Lucas does not have uh, eyes that see as well as yours. That's one of the pictures that it took. It looks like ghosts in space, doesn't it? Wow. And all of the lights that you see, those are stars. And they're different colors because of the gases that are in space. Okay, NASA is celebrating a special anniversary. 30 years ago on April 24th, 
NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope into space. This huge telescope orbits Earth about every about 340 miles above Earth. It is as long as a big school bus and weighs as much as two adult elephants. The Hubble, <clears throat> the Hubble takes pictures of planets, stars, and galaxies. NASA scientists can see and study the picture. NASA has a special website to celebrate the Hubble. People can visit the website and enter the dates of their birthdays. People can see Hubble pictures took on, can see the pictures that Hubble took on their birthdays. What is your birthday? Do you think that's something you might be interested in, going to see the pictures that Hubble took on your birthday? They are beautiful. Let me ask a few questions. We've read the article. We've, we've talked about the Hubble. Let's see if we're able to answer just a couple of questions about what we've read today. And then I'm going to show you some pictures that have been taken. We have three questions. The first question is, what did NASA launch 30 years ago? Of course, we've been talking about, uh, was it the uh, Seattle Space Needle? Was it the uh, Parker Solar Probe? Or was it the Hubble Space Telescope? Of course, that's all we've been talking about, the Hubble Space Telescope. Second question, what does the Hubble Space Telescope do? Were you paying attention? Does it deliver mail? Does it water plants? Does it take pictures? We can slash and trash watering plants because we were not talking about that. I think the answer is take pictures. Excellent. The Hubble telescope takes pictures. Last question. Where can people see Hubble pictures from, the, for, from their birthdays? Can they see it in the theater, at a website, or at a grocery store? Now, remember, we said that if you key, if you go to the Hubble website and you key in your birthday, what is it that you'll get to see? That's right. When you go to the website and you, when you go and see your pictures, you go to the to the website. Very good. Those were easy questions. Now, let's take a second and look at some of the beautiful, beautiful pictures of the Hubble, that the Hubble uh, telescope has taken. Isn't that fabulous? The colors that you see are gases in space, carbon and oxygen that are out in space. The lights that you see are stars. Wow. This is Hubble's anniversary image. Isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine that space looks like that? I thought it was just all black and maybe you can see the stars, but never these beautiful pictures of gases. Woo, that's the one that looks like ghosts in space. Is Look at the, how the beautiful the stars are twinkling. Look at that, that is fabulous. And each one of these pictures has a name. This particular name for this Photograph is called a rose made of galaxies, isn't it? It does look like a rose, doesn't it? Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that beautiful twinkling star. Here, look at that. That is a crowded picture. It says the name of this is extreme star cluster burst into life and new Hubble image. Isn't that fabulous? Absolutely. You cannot imagine that something looks so beautiful, can you? Wow, the bubble nebula, the bubble nebula, isn't that something? Gases and light when the sun, you, you're still seeing the sunlight. The sun hits those gases out in space. That's what, what happens to it. That's what it looks like. Wow. That is beautiful. That looks like a fish jumping out of water, doesn't it? Wow, so beautiful. Wow, look at that. That looks like clouds. That looks like clouds and that's in out of space. We can't see these pictures from Earth because of the atmosphere. We read that in the article. So when the Hubble goes above the atmosphere and takes these pictures, it's pointed out into space. 
Wow, that's pretty. I'm going to tell you something. These photographs are so very beautiful. We never could have imagined that the pictures in space would look like this. The pictures of outer space would look like this. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I have enjoyed myself looking at these beautiful pictures with you. And I want you to go to the internet and I want you to uh, go and put your, uh, go to the website, to the NASA website, type in Hubble Telescope, uh, go to the website and type in your birth date. See what pictures were taken on your birthday uh, last year or this year. It should be very beautiful. And I'm, I'm telling you, sometimes you'll look at a star and you say, I'm going to name that star after myself. You can do that. That is fabulous. Well, guys and girls, I've had a great time. I love looking at these pictures of the Hubble telescope. I hope to see you again this week. I have some more uh, space stories to tell you. Bye-bye now. Be good.